guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am so excited for this tutorial. I'm Auntie Tay, by the way. If you guys are new here, that's who I am. And if you're not, welcome back. But today, I am showing you guys a new twist to the koozie. I'm gonna show you specifically a tutorial on how I blinged this one in another tutorial. But this is the sewing koozie, and we have the SVG for you guys that works perfectly for the reusable Starbucks cups. These are, that's all these are. And I don't know about you, but I love the Starbucks reusable cups, but we were getting crazy with doing the DIYs on them. So I was like, how can we not have to buy so many cups, but still have so many cups? I don't know. <laughs> then I decided, I do know, we can make outfits for our cups. That's what I feel like after I came out with a tutorial, I was like, I pretty much dress up my cup every single day now. I'm like a child and we were prepped for this our whole lives as we were taught to dress our baby dolls. So your cup is your new baby and yeah, that just got weird, but it's okay, all right? Cause you know that you're gonna go make these and you're gonna have one for every single day of your life. You can make it match your outfit, all the things. All right, I'm gonna stop talking so you guys can see the tutorial. This is a sewing tutorial. If you want a no sew version, of this I also have a no sew version of this as well I'm gonna say I love the sewing one a little bit better because fabric is adorable and you can go so many ways with it but if you're a no sewer check out the no sew tutorial because that one is very good as well so let's go all right guys to make our sewing koozie we're gonna use the template that we have on our member site which is for the no sew pattern, but we're just going to tweak it just a tiny bit. So all you're gonna need is a piece of felt, nine by 12, and then a piece of fabric. And I'm using this really cute uh, Minnie Mouse fabric, and then I'm gonna use a fabric pen and something to iron on or an iron. You, this is optional, but it really does help when sewing. I'm also using the Antite silicone mat, which is a great surface to iron on if you're just using your craft table because it protects it and it can endure the heat. Okay, so I'm gonna use the template and you can cut the template out of cardstock. Um, you can print it on a piece of paper, however you want, but the template works perfect. And then I'm gonna flip this over and just make a note where the fold the felt is because I want to make sure that this entire thing is on the felt not just the fabric so we're going to use this as a sewing pattern but not like a traditional sewing pattern what I'm gonna do is lay it out and make a line on the top and the bottom and those are actually going to be sewing lines they're not gonna be cut lines and I want to make sure my pattern is where I want it so make sure you've got your fabric cut where if there's a pattern on it that it's got the parts of the pattern that you want so again these two lines are sewing lines and then the side lines I'm going to just make a little dashed line and these will be sewing lines as well but I'm not gonna sew them to start so I'm just gonna make this little dashed line to guide me where to sew them when I get to that step and I also want that on the fabric because you'll see in a second now I'm gonna make a cut line about a quarter inch away from the sides by just doing a little dotted line this can be a half inch if you want and if you need to measure you can measure a half inch away from the template and draw a line but I feel like I can eyeball things decently so I just went with it and it worked out so then I'm gonna pin these together and then we're gonna sew the top line and the bottom line only. Um, and I'm also gonna cut off the sides on that dotted line to give that quarter inch seam allowance for when I get to that step. Um, yes, I would advise cutting this first before you sew the top and the bottom. So let's cut these off and then we will go over to our sewing machine. Okay, so now we're going to sew along those blue lines. I did cut the fabric down just a little bit so that it was closer to this blue line, but it doesn't really matter because we are gonna cut this again after I sew this. So just make sure you backstitch at the front and the back of this, and then um, just make sure you sew the top and the bottom completely. And then I'm gonna go in and trim. You can use pinking shears, but I have no idea where my pinking shears are. So I'm going to cut this just 
nice and close so that when I turn it inside out, there's not a ton of leftover fabric that we need to deal with. So now I'm gonna turn it right side out and I'm going to, you can pin this if you want, but since it's a curve, I just like to manually work slowly around the top, slowly pulling the felt and the fabric up so that it's a perfect little seam right at the top and then just doing a straight stitch across the top. And this does need to look perfect because this will be exposed on your cup. So you can use a little um, accent color if you'd like, do two stitches, get creative with this if you want to. For this one, I just obviously sewed it once because I was just trying to get this tutorial done and I wanted to make 500 of these. Okay, so when that's done, we're gonna fold the straight sides together. And this is where if you did a quarter inch seam allowance, you're gonna sew it at a quarter inch. If you did a half inch seam allowance, you'll sew it at a half inch. Um, but I'm just gonna sew it at a quarter inch and that just makes my life easier for some reason. I just like following the foot, the edge of the foot when I sew. And then I'm going to again cut with regular scissors. You can use pinking shears if you'd like, um, but it doesn't really matter. You could also use a serger for this. That would work good as well. Then we're gonna flip it right sides out and it is done and it's the cutest thing on earth and we have so many more ideas coming for this. I can't wait to share them with you.